Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse once again, and today we have something called Dum Dum Slugs. This was an idea brought to me by DIY Weapons. He does something similar to this with pellets. Now the idea of a Dum Dum bullet dates back to the late 1800s. It was a modification to bullets to make them expand more. Now informally, Dum Dum refers to kind of a hack, I hate that word, or field modification to a, an existing bullet, c putting cross cuts in it or grinding off the tip to make the, the bullet or slug or whatever expand more. Kind of crudely done. So that's what we did here with these Lyman 525 slugs, generously donated to us by Clyde. And this is pretty much the last of them. He sent us so many of them. Hi, this is Nick. And today we're shooting some Lyman slugs that have been cross hatched so that they may make dum dum rounds. Dum dum. Dum dum. <laughs> dum 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 dum. <laughs> Woo! Now Nick was only shooting about 20 yards away, if that, but he just barely managed to clip this thing. So what does that tell us? That maybe modifying a slug like this, grinding off the nose, you know, removing lead, and altering the balance isn't always a good idea. Let's continue. Once again, he barely managed to hit this thing, and it's not small. It, this thing's about 8 inches in diameter. Um, not a small target by any means, especially at that distance. So, let's continue. Let's see if he can get a better shot. Yeah, this was a little bit better. Notice that when the slug hits, we see that weird detonation, that flash. And there's a lot of debate of what caused that, whether it's a, uh, you know, something detonating like the aluminum oxide or what. But anyway, that slug pretty much became part of that plate. Now, what about expansion? If we can hit it, let's see how it expands. Now, remember, the idea here was to create it's kind of a, a fracture point in the slug. A weak point where the lead will actually rip and tear, spread, and create a bigger cavity. But really, compared to the other things we've shot at these clear ballistic gummy bears, that initial impact and the stretching of it wasn't very impressive. So it kind of looks like this kind of a hard lead slug just went right through without much expansion. So let's see if we can find it and show you what the slug actually looks like. You can see you got a pretty good headshot there. It's a little to the left. And that was after moving him another 10 feet closer to the target. But that slug did manage to go all the way through all those gummy bears and into that big tub of sand. And after digging through the sand, we finally found it. There's ballistic gel kind of stuck to the nose of it. And you can see how much this slug has deformed and compressed. But we really don't see what we hoped to see was tearing and you know opening up of that slug like a kind of like a hollow point now those cuts were probably about eighth of an inch or maybe three or four millimeters deep and uh, it just wasn't enough and I'm thinking if we cut them even deeper we would have just thrown off the balance even more and just really mess things up and if you can't hit what you're aiming at you know what's the point of modifying anything so there you have it. But I hope you enjoyed watching this anyway, because we had fun making this video. Hopefully you can hit this sucker. There's a car. Okay. Can we not shoot when the car's in front of me? There's a car? Yeah, there's a truck up ahead. Oh, Where's he at? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It'd be great for the video, huh? <laughs> 